welcome back to Royalty Soaps and to the very first video for the May collection Flora Fantasy. Many of you know that the collection in April was Petrichor Musings. It was a little bit moody, very reminiscent of the rain and gloomy weather and April showers, which bring May flowers. So this month, everything is uplifted. Everything is bright and cheery. I've got a succulent soap. I've got a California poppy soap. I'm really excited for you guys to see some of the new designs that are coming out. And I have a video where I make four different mini soap loaves with Brambleberry's new Dreamy Desserts collection. They're very cute. They're very time intensive. I like did a lot of little bitty embeds. There's some cinnamon roll embeds made out of soap clay. It's going to be a great month. So before we hop into talking about Flora Fantasy, I do want to tell you that as of filming right now, we still have all six soaps from the Petrichor Musings collection available to purchase at royaltysoaps.com. So if there was a bar you had your eye on, it is still there. <laughs> Just got to throw that out there right here at the beginning before I forget. So let's talk about Flora Fantasy. Obviously, I paired April and May up perfectly. And whenever I was creating my Pinterest board, I was really drawn to copious amounts of flowers. So lots of photos that have not just one flower or like a close up of a flower, but lots and lots of flowers in a field. You'll see there are succulents in the board. There are lots of bright colors. A lot of the things in here are very whimsical and fantastical. So taking all of those beautiful photos on Pinterest, I compiled them into one mood board. It looks like this. As you can see, I picked the Dolce and Gabbana a model as sort of the focal point. I thought that dress was just beyond. I mean, it was like otherworldly. It was completely ethereal. And then I added in some butterflies. I have some more models up at the top with lots of gauze and just, again, copious amounts of flowers. There's just so many flowers. I think this collection is coming at the perfect time in the world. I think we need flowers. I think we need vibrant colors. I think we need joy. And I think we need to feel peaceful. And that sort of segues right into today's video because I wanted to start with the calm, the serene, the peaceful, and then we will ramp it up as we go along. So please enjoy today's clean cotton video. And without further ado, let's make some soap. All right, you guys, let's get started on our clean cotton soap. Now, I hope with this video that you feel very relaxed and very calm. I know I'm very giddy in a lot of my videos and I have lots of laughter and we have a very good time. Time. But this specific soap, I want you to feel very relaxed, very peaceful, and very calm because that's what clean cotton represents to me. I'm just going to pour my lye water solution down my stick blender real quick. And now I'm going to blend it for about 10 to 15 seconds just until light trace has passed. I'm going to split my batch into five equal portions. These pitchers I got from the dollar store, they are a dollar each. And the recipe I am using today can be found in the description box below if you are a beginner and would like to try it, or an intermediate to advanced soap maker who's just looking to change it up. Now I'm gonna scrapey scrapey out my little containy. So for the first color, I'm going to be adding some 24 karat gold mica and a little bit of titanium dioxide. Oxide. The second color is also 24 karat gold, but this time I'm not adding any titanium dioxide. The next color is baby blue. This is from Nurture Soap. The next color is also baby blue, but I'm adding a little bit of titanium dioxide. And finally, the last color is also baby blue, but I will be adding almost three times as much titanium dioxide as I am blue, so it's going to be very light. Now, I'm I'm going to remove these four because it is a layered soap, so I'm not going to mix them up just yet. And we're going to focus on this first color right here. Before I mix it up and pour, I'm going to add my fragrance soil. Today I am using clean cotton from AFI. Almost every reputable fragrance oil supplier carries a clean cotton smell, but I love AFI's version because it is slightly 
slightly more floral, smells a little less like laundry detergent, and as an added bonus, it's like $10 a pound if you buy in bulk. With my fragrance oil added, I can now stick blend. Beautiful. This is exactly the color I wanted. So I'm going to get my two Brambleberry loaf molds and we're going to pour this first layer in after this quick commercial break. All right, let's go ahead and pour. Look how nice and runny that batter is. What a lovely fragrance oil. Wow, that's probably the best clean cotton I've ever smelled. And I've added the fragrance oil, so let's blend this up. Just going to tap some of those air bubbles out real quick. Okay, let's do layer number two. I'm gonna break the fall just a little bit with this funny looking spatula I have here. I actually think one of the members of the royal court sent this in and it has been such a lifesaver when it comes to breaking the fall. I actually stole this over from <laughs> my parents' house where all of that soap gets made because I was like, ooh, I wanna use that for my next video. Just gonna texture the top a little here. Not a whole bunch. I just don't want it completely flat. Okay, layer number three. I can't wait to see that blue. Also, before I blend this one up, I want to show you this fragrance oil is actually an example of ricing. You see how it kind of has this curdly appearance in the soap right now? That's the fragrance oil, but it is a well-behaved fragrance oil so that when I blend it, you don't see any little chunks and it incorporates quite easily. Okay, layer number three is ready. everything has been cleaned up and scraped off. This is what the very tippy top of the soap looks like. So I'm going to mix up our soap frosting real quick and we will get to piping. So using the Royalty Soaps Soap Frosting Club Kit, I have put together my soap frosting bag. And I'm going to start by doing three, two, one across the top. And guys, I'm so thrilled with the colors on this bar. Y'all know I love me some bold colors. That's like the Royalty Soap signature look. But changing it up a little, doing something a little more subtle, that's nice too. And oh my gosh, I, I'm sorry. I'll stop talking about the fragrance, but it really is absolutely stunning. You know, I'm trying to make more TikToks. Not like dance TikToks or anything like that. More soap TikToks because it's such a short way and you can watch the whole process of me making soap so quickly. I know some people like to upload like two different versions of their soap making videos. A shorter one where it's all sped up and then like a longer more chatty one. But I just can't undertake a task that big. That's so much editing. And when you have two videos that go up every week, woo wee. A 15 second recap filmed on my phone, however, seems a lot more doable. So I'll leave my little TikTok link right now if you want to go follow me over there. If that's something you're doing with all the cool kids nowadays. I don't know which one's more cringy. Grown ups being like, I'm so old, here I am on the platform or just being being on there. I feel like it would be a lot less awkward just to be like, here I am, loud and proud, than to be like, I know nothing, I'm so old. <laughs> 
So here's a secret. If I don't have my soap lobes like right in front of me whenever I'm piping, I get out of breath and my back starts hurting so bad. So there's your tip of the day. If you're doing soap frosting, keep those lobes really close to you. It'll help save your back. So it's the middle of April. I know a good many of us are still hanging out around our homes, which honestly is absolutely no change from my <laughs> normal life. I work from home. Uh, I don't leave my town that much just because I'm busy. A lot of my free time is spent uh, doing things for royalty soaps and no complaints. I like it that way. I love chilling out with you guys. And I'm just taking this time to sort of chill out, enjoy the nice weather while it lasts here in Texas. I know it won't be long before it's blistering hot outside. Now, all of my soap frosting is on, so I have a couple different glitter options I want to look at. I can either use a little bit of Sparkle Me Gold or a little bit of Twinkle Gold. The first option is from Mad Micah's, of course, and then this is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I've got the Sparkle Me Gold in a fairy duster. Oh, that looks nice. I think I'll just go by real quick. Little quick spritz, that way it's a little shimmery, but you know, it's not too much. The warm tones really blend in well with this soap. It's just enough to make it look magical, but not so much that it's overwhelming or takes away from the simplicity of it. Let's see how I like this twinkle gold. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit, not too much. Okay, so these two glitters go really well together if you have both of them. And now let me show you what I have for the top. They're so precious. Little dried globe amaranth flowers. If you guys remember, I'll leave you a link right now in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I used globe amaranth on the top of forage and I loved them so much I knew how to bring them back. And obviously I can't put real cotton on top of soap. The soap will just eat it up and it'll get all smishy and gross. So I thought these look a little bit like cotton. Let's put one of each of those on top. I've put on a clean glove for this so they don't get all oily and gross. And this is one of the flowers I'm actually growing in my garden. We'll see how I do. I'm hesitant to speak with confidence of much of anything that I'm growing because it's my first year and I have absolutely no idea what I'm capable of killing. Also, a lot of people ask me, like, do I leave the things on top of the soap or take them off? That's really up to you. I prefer to take the botanicals off after I use it once just because I don't like them getting wet. It feels weird to me. <laughs> They're really just for presentation. I love the noise that these things make. They just sound so fluffy. Almost done. Just a few more to go. I hope you guys have felt relaxed today with this video. Sometimes the middle of the week in the middle of the month can be a little sluggish. <laughs> Last one. And there we go. Clean cotton is complete. And this is what clean cotton looks like up close. Look how cute. And I'm so glad I decided to add both the glitters because I think that really enhances it. So I am going to let these sit for 18 to 24 hours and then we'll come back and we'll chop them all up after this quick commercial break. Y'all, my soap is looking perfect. However, my nails are not. Quarantine has not been kind to those of us with the dip powder nails. Try not to look at them. In the next video, I will put on gloves. <laughs> oh man, this smells so good. Look at those cute little, oh, I just like to poke them. I need so much clearance for these soaps. But once again, my good speed cutter has my back. Pull one out of the middle here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, obviously I'm a little bit biased, but this is one of the best smelling clean cottons, if not the best smelling clean cotton I've ever smelled. Like seriously, just trying to reiterate here. I really hope it's given you those like calm, sort of like seaside home looking houses that you always see in the magazines that are like, have a conch shell up on the shelf and um, wicker chairs inside. By the way, I did not get tattoos. My sister Shelly gave these to me. 
<laughs> They're just markers. <laughs> They're probably going to be appearing in the next couple of videos. So just wanted to put out a warning. I did not get tattoos. I am completely terrified of needles. I could never. Those widow tops though. They're so cute. Also, look at how sparkly that gold layer is. <laughs> so I might change some things about this soap. I really like the way it looks, but I kind of want a white layer in there after I mix the white. Like I really like the cream. So I might move this color up one and put a white at the bottom in the future. I don't know. We'll have to see. It's funny because I used to not talk about which changes I decided to make after I did the first batch. And because you guys like 95% of the time are seeing the first batch I've ever made of the design where I'm guessing on all of the colorants. In the olden days, I would just make a change and then it would go up on the shop and you know, it would be minor, but it would look better. But now I'm trying to tell you guys my creative process and like how I work through the changes and then of course I will post final photos um, closer to the soap releases on Instagram so that you guys can see what I ended up going with. I don't know I'm just trying to give you guys as much information as I can so that I don't know maybe it'll help you guys out in your creative journey. Okay so the question of the day is have you ever seen cotton fields? Here in Texas we actually have cotton fields and my mom has pulled over on the side of the road multiple times when we were kids so that we could stand on the edge and like if some of the plants were outside of the farmer's field like it got sowed too far out she'd show us what the cotton looks like inside the plant and you know maybe we'd pick some and I'm pretty sure she still has some in our house that's just like these really cool cotton stems and it feels like they have little marbles inside because their seeds are really hard but it's a really cool experience to see a cotton field because it's just dappled like little white clouds for just as far as the eye can see. And to vote on the question of the day, all you have to do is click the eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to vote on the question of the day. And if you enjoyed today's video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little thumbs up down below, if you want to subscribe to see more videos like the one you just watched, you could also leave me a comment with any recommendations or, you know, commentary on the general aesthetic of this bar. I welcome all of your comments and opinions. I'm interested to see how the month of April goes along on YouTube. I've seen a lot of creators who are struggling and are getting like a brain freeze when it comes to all of their creative endeavors because of everything going on in the world. So here's to hoping that we can bring you some joy. Um, my spirits are still up. I'm still very hopeful and still very positive and I'm just excited. I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna have a lot of fun for you guys over the next couple of weeks. So do something fun for yourself today. I know we're a little more limited now on the types of things we can do for fun, but there are so many things out there. I mean, try out Skillshare. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but try out Skillshare. That Sometimes they just give you a good jumping point for lots of things that you can do. There are just a lot of crafts and hobbies out there, you guys. There's so many. I mean, like we can't even know about all of them. So that's a good way to get in touch with all of them. Get on Instagram and look for things in like the crafting area, or maybe, maybe you just need to go through and start organizing your home. Get rid of all of the things that you don't need, you know? Tidy that place up. That also helps us feel nice and refreshed, light a candle if you need to, take a soak, you know, chill out and relax. I know I'm rambling, but I'm just trying to give you guys some good, happy ideas for today. Take today and make the most out of it and be grateful for every day we're given. Tis a gift. All right, my lovelies, I will see you back on Saturday where we will make another fantastical soap. And until then, I'll be over on Instagram saying hey, maybe over on TikTok. Please follow me on TikTok. I'm trying to do more short aesthetic videos of soap making. Okay, now I really am rambling. Have a lovely day. I will see you guys later. Bye for now. Neom.